So, by generation, what the bloody hell is that? Well, honestly, nobody knows right now. We didn't get many answers in the giggle, but today I'm going to be trying to explain to you how you can think about by generation to make it work in your own headcanon. So let's get straight into the video. So by generation is a new form of regeneration. First witnessed in the episode, The Giggle, where the 15th incarnation of the Doctor is separated from the 14th. By generation was a variant of regular regeneration of which the Doctor always thought was a myth. Instead of one incarnation directly transforming into the next, they are separated from the original body into its own being so they can live separately. As the Doctor was currently playing with the Toy Maker, a villain who can literally manipulate reality in any way he pleases, it's believed that their reality bending abilities are what allowed this myth to become reality. And this similar logic is actually used to create the 15th Doctor a duplicate TARDIS later in the episode. Rusty Davis has apparently had this idea for a few years now where he wanted to do a multi-Doctor story with the current and next Doctor and this was his way of doing that. Not much of this idea was explained in the giggle so a lot of it has been left up to the viewer's interpretation. The only detail RTD properly explained was during the commentary of the episode of Giggle on BBC iPlayer, where he states that the bi-generation event not only happened at this moment in time, but at every other moment he ever regenerated, allowing all of the past incarnations of the Doctor to live their own separate lives. Meaning, in Russell T Davies' head, we have 14 other Doctors at the minimum running around the universe. He said he did this to make more sense of when the Doctors are aged up when they return in this show, but also to canonise Tales of the TARDIS. But it's only loves having great continuity it causes way more issues than it solves i think although this is an issue rtd planned to fix using by generation i will be completely ignoring it in this video because i actually don't know how to make it work with this by generation there doesn't seem like much logic connecting this and you know all the past regenerations so let's just get into how i personally believe this whole situation works first of all we have the question of do both the doctors have all their memories and can they both regenerate this is clearly only a question because of what happened with the meta crisis doctor in series four where we actually had a human version of the doctor created where they kept their memories but couldn't regenerate and this is a very similar situation i believe yes that they both still have the same memories and that they both can regenerate to tell you a bit about why i think this i mean the 15th doctor calls donna donna that name is never said out loud while he is there he must have the same memories and although 15 is actually the offshoot of this doctor much like the meta crisis the fact we are now following this doctor throughout the next season must mean that they can regenerate too otherwise like how does the show even work anymore with that sorted the next issue is actually how regeneration works now a common theory people keep talking about is does 14 just regenerate and turn into shooty and go back into that moment that just happened or does he actually become someone new but i believe that both these doctors can regenerate and that they will be regenerating into different people much like the 12th doctor choosing his face for a certain reason because of a certain event i believe that because these characters are now going to have new experiences and they're going to be in new situations situations their new face when they eventually get it will be based on that and therefore they are different the only other major problem i have with this is the fact that the doctor's actions after the by generation don't quite make sense and i'm more meaning the 15th doctor here the thing i don't get is why shooty comes and he is instantly wanting to get out of there not even talking to mel or donna he's barely even referencing that they exist so much like the close splitting i actually feel like there's a lot more going on here than we initially thought and i think that their personality their emotions their desires all of that actually got split in separated between the two if you bear with me a second i will explain if you look at the way these characters act as soon as the by generation happens they're so different they couldn't contrast more and the 14th doctor even feels different after this you see it with 15 being more emotionally stable comforting the 14th doctor as he basically weeps on his shoulder to go along with this 15 is super energetic and talkative whilst 14 is stood more back being quiet and thoughtful again when you're watching the scenes at the end they couldn't be more different and then the other thing that actually differs at the end is their desires we've seen in the past that the doctor actually wishes he could just settle down and enjoy a quiet life but he cannot do this when you think about it this way you see shooty's incarnation have that protective adventurous nature and that's why he wants to get out of there straight away go leave everyone in that tardis and he does go off and do that and i think he does that because he knows 14 has that desire to just settle down so when you have 14 he then goes and lives that quiet life you now have the two things the doctor wants most and he is able to do both at once and i think the only reason that they are able to do that is because it splits if both of them felt both things i feel like there would be a conflict there but both of them accepted what they were doing fairly quickly the only thing the 14th doctor really wanted was the tardis but that's because that is his long lasting companion that is a companion that's been with him since the start so of course he doesn't want to lose that because 14 wanted the tardis and he has took rose out a few times it's not a foolproof idea no but there is no real huge conflict that says this couldn't be true to me this also allows the show to start completely fresh in season one with shooty's incarnation not having the burden of the last two eras behind him but still having the main character 
characteristics of the Doctor, making this almost like a real reboot of the show while still keeping that history and the numbering there. This new Time Lord Science is 100% going to take so long to get used to, and honestly, I hope they explore it more in the show just to give us some more official answers. It's a very complex idea that really needs some thought into it to make it work flawlessly, and I do hope that we see that in the future of the show. Unfortunately, that is all I have for you today. Hopefully, you have enjoyed hearing my thoughts on the bi generation. I would love to know what you think, so drop some comments down below on your thoughts on the concept and how you think it works. If you haven't made it this far, I'm probably right in assuming you like or love Doctor Who, so why not check out my review of the episode The Giggle? I'm sure it'll entertain you as much as this has, and thank you for watching.